We in Britain love to make spaces for nature, whether it's a pond, planting wildflowers, or probably the most popular way, putting up a bird box. But what about other creatures that need a home? Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a cheap and easy bug hotel and slightly more niche, a fish bungalow. The idea for a bug hotel is to create lots of holes for species like solitary bees, beetles and spiders to hide away in. Not only does it increase the biodiversity of your local area, but if you like your birds, they'll all provide natural food for them. The Bullhead Bungalow or Fish Hotel is an idea I saw there doing in Belgian canals, where the bullhead is quite rare. These bottom dwelling fish prefer to live under rocks, but a little wooden hideaway is ideal for them to live and breed in. Other small fish will of course use these, like stone loach, gudgeon, eels, even crayfish, so they'll benefit lots of species. For both of these we start off with a wooden box. I took the easy way out and brought shelving units, but you could just get a plank of wood and nail it to the desired shape. I then cut the wood to fit the back of the shelving units. As you can tell, I'm not a carpenter. It's not my specialty. And it looks a bit rough, but luckily the wildlife doesn't really care. I then nail all the backs of the boxes on one side, as the bug hotels will need an open side to put all the props in. Some of the edges might be a bit rough, so you can always sand them off with a little bit of sandpaper. But let's concentrate on the bullhead bungalow for now. The design is slightly different as I'm putting some rocks in to weigh it down, but then also give cover inside the box and somewhere for the bullheads to lay their eggs on. I then nail shut the lid. You could attach a bracket so it opens if you wanted to revisit your box and see if it's being used. Now that's done, it's time to place it in the river. You could, if you don't have a river nearby, put this into your pond as many pond critters will equally enjoy it, or maybe near the pond as a frog house. I place two rocks either side and one on top to stop the current washing it away and put it just out of the main flow. This will help stop it being washed away in winter floods. Over time it will rot away, but at least for the breeding season it will create a home and nursery for the fish. I'll be honest, in the UK bullheads are fairly common, but I can see the merits of this if lots were placed along the river. The simple act of just placing rocks together will help them even if the fish home does get washed away or rots. Please seek permission of the river owner before placing these boxes as people may wonder what they are. Now back to the bug hotel. We don't have a front, so instead we put some cut tree branches with holes on them and bamboo sticks which are cut to fit in. The idea being to put so many in that they all keep each other in place. I find fresh wood is best, so if you're cutting some branches in the garden, it's a good idea to keep some of the thicker ones back. Now I had a go at sawing the bamboo, and maybe it's the saw, maybe it's my pathetic upper body strength, but I struggled with it. Luckily, my mate is a carpenter and easily cut through the wood. Top tip, be friends with a carpenter. Painting is optional, the insects don't really mind, but I wanted it to look aesthetically pleasing, so I put a coat of green paint over them. I then add the larger pieces of wood first, which have holes drilled into them at varying sizes and depths. It's then like an adult game of Jenga, as you slot the bamboo sticks in until they're tight enough that they don't move. The test being to tip it upside down, and it shouldn't fall out. The bamboo holes will be filled with some stuff, I don't know what it is, but you might want to poke that through and it just makes the insect's job a lot easier of getting in there. Most people hang them on fences, but you could simply lay them on the ground also. I've added a little hinge to hang it on, and we are done. You can then place them all over the garden at different heights and areas to encourage as many invertebrates as possible. And there you go, that's how you make a bug hotel or a bullhead bungalow. Why not give it a go?